Welcome back, everybody. Now we got to finish off the rest of Forest World. I guess, uh, just in terms of environment and atmosphere, I think Silent Hill 4 does that really well. It does. It's amazing at it. Yeah. yeah. It also manages to avoid a lot of the traps of the original series because you never really technically go to Silent Hill. You visit places of it, but you're not there. So it shows that the, the franchise had the ability to take its idea to wonderful and interesting yeah, locations. to branch out. Right. And like I said, the story's been pretty good so far, too, for what it's worth. I mean, all we this really just stemmed from a one-dimensional one-note in Silent Hill 2. And we got all this out of it. I think it's really cool. You said one-dimensional? All we knew of Walter was he just killed two kids. And that's it. And, and then, we got all this. And even then, so that was just from a small snippet. Right. There are ghosts in this area. I'm just looking for items. Well, oh, there he is. You saw that. Yeah. Just boop. What's a ghost? <laughs> See, I, I could forgive graphical pop-in if it's a ghost. <laughs> So will Walter also come up in places where there are where there are ghosts? Uh, no. Believe it or not, each of these ghosts that we're fighting with now, they're the other, they're the first ten victims, bar barring seven and eight. Those are the uh, two-headed monsters we see running around. Yeah. And here's Umbolicus. Not again. Oh, let's try to swipe you. Swiper, no swiping. Oh man. Ow! I said no swiping. That's not swimming. That's backhanding. <laughs> it's a pimp's prayer. <laughs> pimp's prayer. You never, you never, you watch Moondogs, right? Yeah. Well, oh, not in a very long time, but. He's going to be here somewhere. I need the well, which is all the way over there. I got figures. You know, in a way, I kind of feel like we're playing Slender, only instead of pages, we're looking for wells. Right? Oh, fuck. These are back. I ain't too worried about them. Just the double-headed little shits I hate. And Walter's just standing there laughing. Monkey. The end of the boss trail. I'm full of items, aren't I? Yep. Well, good thing I took a beating. <laughs> What'd you get? Another nutrition drink. Yeah. Sweet! <laughs> I want that. <laughs> I really am wasting more healing on his I'm really not sorry. thirsty, but... <laughs> Pug-a-lug? Pug-a-lug. 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 Pug -lug, There's the, the well. Hugger. Yep. There's the well. The torch is back there. Unfortunately, when I come in here, there's going to be more gumheads designed to make me put the torch away so I can <laughs> actually pick up the goddamn thing. We're yep. actually going to go back to the apartment real fast so I can drop a bunch of stuff off. There a hole here? Right there. Oh, okay. Holy moly. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist the pun. We, before he shoots the gun. Well, you're going to feel very holy tonight. <laughs> Why don't you make me a holy bartender? <laughs> <laughs> There's no point in gunning it. Don't run and gun this, Elliot. <laughs> I haven't seen Dogma in so long. There's the haunting. Looks like boogers. This one's an obnoxious haunting, too. Like, we're going to see it more than once. That specific one? Why is it obnoxious? It keeps coming back. Oh. This is one of those hauntings that just keeps coming back for me, no matter what the fuck I do to get rid of it. Uh... Yeah, the dots are still there. I'm going to wait it out a bit. Because I usually like... Let me just let it keep go all the way out. Maybe this time it'll stop this one from recurring in my apartment three times in a row. Three in a row? Christ. Yeah, maybe that's a trick to the enemy is that you have to actually see the entire thing diminish. That, it would be the, no, because usually that usually up until now the player gets the clue for that when the candle goes away. Yeah. This time around it's just hey we're gonna linger around here a bit longer because I'm a stickler ghost and I like attention to detail. 
two, three, and... Uh, the pickaxe. <clears throat> Thank you. And the pickaxe for four. All these golf clubs I'm not using. Maybe I should take up golfing after this. Yeah, no, seriously. <laughs> you, have, you have enough for a tire set. Not yet. You can find them. Some of them that you can find, though, are found only from the gumhead enemies. Okay. And I am honestly still hoping we can find a three wood. I was going to say, is there a putter? There's a putter. <laughs> <laughs> like, I like how it said return from Forest World second time. <laughs> right, because now you're in a different... Uh, well, it's not a different subsection. I guess a different uh, But the, you know, But the whole point of return to Forest World already kind of insinuates that it's your second visit. Right. But now it's like return to Forest World the second time. So the third visit, you mean? <laughs> no, there's only two visits. What does it say return from? Return from Forest World? Return yeah. to Sender. <laughs> return to Sender. <laughs> No such Walter. <laughs> Walter frowning. <laughs> he, he may be uh, omnipotent, but he has feelings. I say uh, omnipotent, omnipotent. Omnipotent. What's that? What's that? He has multiple musks. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a lot of smells. Omnipugnant. Omnipugnant. The serial killer is a creature of chaos. It can it can take many scents. And there's nothing back here. We're done here. We have all five pieces necessary. Nice. To assemble Exodia. The four minute. Yeah, oh no, shit! Sure. I just realized yeah, it. Yeah, really, it's Exodia. Dude, dude, I kind of just realized it too. We're going after five limbs, two arms, two legs, and a head. Yeah. And it pretty much guarantees us progression. Oh damn! I didn't realize <laughs> that. And it's a Konami thing. Oh, Maybe. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I, I know that's probably not what they were going for, but fuck me now, I fuck won't see it. Now. We're, we're calling the guy in the wheelchair, Exodia. Yeah. Straight up, you know, this is the whole thing. Walter was really jealous because he got snuffed at the regionals. <laughs> 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 to be fair to him, though, like I said, Diamond Dude Turbo for Exodia or, Diamond, or Destiny Hero Exodia builds were really cheap at the time. What, I don't year, blame him. Uh, what year was looking coming out? What year did Sound Hope 4 come out, Elliot? Let me check. I believe... 2002? Uh, I, no, 2004, I believe. 2004? Yeah. He I can't, believe. Uh, I don't know why the hell he thought running a Skull Serpent Cycle was a good idea at that time. It was all he could afford. He was an orphan, too. <laughs> Walter the yeah. Snob Yukio player. <laughs> yeah, 2004. 2004, okay. Yeah. One detail I like. The game will always remember where you pin him. Yeah, I'll tell you what that sounds like. That sounds like your dentist appointment when you got that fucking tube in your mouth. Oh yeah, there's the, that too. The suction tube. And they and then you and then you follow the tube to. Sorry about that. <laughs> and, then, and then you follow the tube to a small cabinet in the office. It's just someone else sucking up your <laughs> saliva. That's disgusting. <laughs> I like. I hate when I'm at the dentist appointment and they want to talk and they want to start a conversation. So what do you do for a living, Mr. Vitelli? Uh, I oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I know, seriously. I it's trace like, metal. Get it out. No, it's like, it's like, my mouth is full of shit. I can't respond. Your mouth is full of shit. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's, that's gross. I got all this damn shit in my mouth, and you're, going to be, you're, you're trying to shut up a conversation. Come on, man. <laughs> hey, Eileen, remember me? Jerk off. Exodia. Unleash. Oh, it's moving. I thought it was going to break apart. Wait. <laughs> I don't listen to <laughs> The handicapped man fell backwards and fell. Because he found out he handy couldn't do it. <laughs> and we needed to attach limbs to a doll to get this thing to move because we can't push the chair out of the way. I'm, no, the whole point of the whole thing was a yeah. test for Henry to prove that he was the receiver of wisdom to right. fall into line with Walter's plan. Yeah, sure, sure. I, I understand, like. So it, ultimately, no matter if you didn't do it, the doll wouldn't have moved it anyway. The descent of the Holy Mother of the 21 Sacraments. And God said, no. 
the second sign. And God said, shit on Walter Sullivan. He was kind of a mistake. My bad. <laughs> Gather forth and the God white oil. said, whoops. <laughs> Gather forth the white oil, the black cup, and the blood of the ten sinners. By the by, tongue-in-cheek references. White oil is white Claudia of Silent Hill 1 and 3. Black cup, you find that item in Silent Hill 2. And the blood of the ten sinners are the first ten monster, first ten people Walter killed in Walter Silent Hill 4. And God said, offer the blood of the ten sinners and the white oil. Then trip balls. <laughs> Be well, then released from the bonds of flesh and gain the power of heaven. In other words, this is how Walter became immortal. From the darkness and void, bring forth gloom. And grid thyself with despair for the giver of wisdom. And God said, return to the source through sin's temptation. Under the watchful eye of the demon, wander alone in the formless chaos. Then the four atonements are in alignment. Now the final one, separate the mother from the, from, from the flesh, who, she who is the mother reborn, and he who is the receiver of wisdom. That's pretty much me and Eileen. And then after this, you complete the 21 sacraments, your mom comes back to life. Which is really something Walter's gunning for here. In the meanwhile, we just come over here, put into the circle, crest of medallion, and we're done. Cool. That's pretty much Walter's master plan here. He wants to see his mother so damn badly, he's going to go through all this shit to get it done. So, in a way, he's manipulating us Yeah. to enact his plan. In a way, yes. But it's also, we don't have a choice in the matter. I like to imagine, now this is me being a personal headcanon here. I'd like to imagine at some point in the story, these guys, even though they, they never really show it. So, like I said, I'm just taking, talk, this is a... Uh, to use a Lewis's, I think Lewis came up with the term first, the tails from my ass sort of thing. <laughs> but I like to imagine at some point these guys figured it out, but they're still shit out of luck and there's nothing you can do. So what you're doing right there is that you're trying to fill the gaps yeah. using logic and reasoning within what the game tells you. Right. I have to ask you then, what's your limit? Like, at what point does, is the, is it the... Is it the game just not having the details and that you have to keep doing this to fill the gap? Like, what's your limit on that? There's really like no with Silent Hill. I and it, it, with Silent Hill, that is very much the intention, like for you to fill the gaps simply and to, again and to, do to this level or that. with you. Yeah. It's a purely emotional response, there, and that response is how much fun am I having with your game before you start pissing me the fuck off? I'm talking strictly as a narrative tool, though. Like to me, what is the limit for? How much are you willing to when make up yourself because the, the game doesn't? Oh shit! Do because oh. Hi there. Gross. I need to get one of my candles. I'll it's in your box. <laughs> For, there is. There really shouldn't be such a thing as a limit. To be honest with you. Because to me, if a if a game is so insistent on not telling me the details where I can literally pull nothing from anything, that's bad storytelling. Uh. Also leaves it open to artistic discussion. That's that's kind of the thing of Rule of Rose. Yeah. Uh, oh, the other game. Okay. No, Lavender scented. I hope I plugged. I hope I plugged it in the right area too. Otherwise, we're in shit. We're in deep you shit. You should have. I mean. The line there gets goes. the line gets blurry when you're trying to differentiate between being ambiguous and when you have no clear cut idea of what you're trying to tell a story here. To me, that's absolutely irrelevant. Once art once art leaves the art once art leaves the art artist's intention. Yeah. The artist can have the intention all he wants to, but once it goes right into the viewer, it becomes the, up to the viewer to see what they want to make out of it. If you leave a lot of things vague like this, though, you can actually you can actually be in its own benefit. Plus, well, the, I think plus si the, I, I think Silent Hill was always good about leaving enough breadcrumbs for you to make your own thing. Well, Silent Hill Four does that too, but there's yeah. there's like I said, there's always like multiple answers for things too. As yeah. I said, I like to imagine. Did they actually do it? Probably yeah. not, because like I said, there's no real voice acting in this. There's not enough. Um, there's no writing for it, but I like to imagine at some yeah. point they did because you there's see, no way it, Henry can get all these notes and not go. Oh, well, I'm being played for a fool. But like I said, that is. Silent Hill does that intentionally. Silent Hill does that deliberately. That's why it works. Uh, but it, I, I feel like in other cases, like what is the threshold for? You okay, can't, you can't put a you can't put a threshold on that sort of thing. I think you can. I, you I can. think. I think. Well, I think you can. I say you can. Well, I say you can. Well, we'll have to figure out what happens with that <laughs> next time around. Tune in for the exciting conclusion if we remember about this shit a week from now. See you then. <laughs> Probably.